Okay, for our correction, starting with Inhei, uh, she said the portion of private equity takes about 25 to 30 percent in her uh, chart pitch. Um, the uh, private equity portion, she just had to change, the, change it around a little bit. Uh, the private equity portion, uh, I, I guess, it takes about 25 to 30 percent is okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, it takes up to 25 to 30 percent. And then she said, um, when she was explaining the chart pitch, she said, I don't know why, but usually when we were talking about some kind of uh, data that were presented, and if you are not sure about something, uh, the best way to, to talk about that, uh, instead of saying I don't know why, is to say there's not enough, uh, there's, there's insufficient information here. There's not enough sufficient information to explain why or to explain further. So I just want you guys to know that if, you, if you're trying to explain some information to somebody, you can just say that there's insufficient information. Jiyun, you said, um, protesters are suffering, maybe suppress. Uh, the protesters were being oppressed. Yeah. Or you can say that the government or the police were oppressing them. You can say it like that, too. And then you said their um, communication skills can make people get together. Uh, they should be able to unite everyone through communication, through effective communication, actually, yeah. I think maybe I can rely on his policy. Uh, I feel like this is a little bit hard to say that, that you can rely on it, but I, I feel like I can identify with his policies. Maybe it's a little bit better. And I feel always lose or I lost with HR manager who has many experience. I always feel like I lose to the HR manager especially compared to their experience. Hazel, you said a candidate who can change the old things, uh, a candidate who is not complacent or not stagnant. Uh, I got more peaceful when I got the natural places like the lake or the mountain. Um, uh, being with nature makes me feel at peace, maybe is better. Yeah, yeah. I feel at peace when I'm with nature, or in nature. Uh, I've heard that all historic sites were fell down when you were asking Ellen about Nepal. Um, I heard the historic sites. Uh, what was the word? Uh, 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 I heard the historic sites were destroyed, maybe, or or damaged. Uh, when I'm looking for the rooms for rent in Canada, I suffered to find good deal and clean room. Uh, while I was searching for a room to rent in Canada, uh, I, it was a challenge to find a good deal in a clean place. Jihan, uh, because next day we should take a rest because we feel hard. Uh, because the day after, we should rest up. And you don't have to say because we feel hard. Actually, saying because we feel hard is, is incorrect grammatically. But if you say we should rest up, we should automatically know. So you wouldn't have to say that. You know, it's just kind of like saying the obvious. So because the next day we should rest up. Uh, I usually had a negotiation when I need to get my home house. Uh, I... Yeah, I, I, I usually have to negotiate. Uh... A lot. Maybe I, I usually have to negotiate a lot to get a new home or house. Then you said, uh, I have no ability when we were talking about trying to read other people's emotions. Um, I would suggest maybe to say that uh, I feel like I am uh, ignorant in this area. Uh, that I am, yeah, yeah, maybe all men are ignorant to this. Uh, Alan, I thought it was very interested by looking at the part for the psychological researches. Uh, I found it interesting 
that there was some psychology related to negotiations. But I'm going trekking, so those sites should be okay. Uh, I am, I think, I guess you could say trekking. It's, it's kind of hard. We don't, actually, in the US, we don't really say trekking, to be, to be completely honest. We never say trekking. So, yeah, we just kind of say hiking, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, or on foot. We say on foot a lot. Yeah, so I'll be on foot, so those, I don't have to worry about those sites. Uh, I was successive when I had nothing to lose. Um, that, actually, most of that is okay. But, uh, you know, I, I was more successful when I had nothing to lose. It sounds better. And then when you were talking about with your parents, uh, usually when we talk about a situation like that with our parents, we normally say, I put my foot down. Anytime that you are making a stand about something uh, to your family or close friends or your boss, I put my foot down. That means no more. I'm going to have it my way. There's no, there's no negotiation here. Uh, and then you said, um, I could work four days with the same payment I was making. Uh, we reduced my work time to four days uh, and kept the same pay or salary. Bora, uh, recently I didn't have such a situation. Um, recently, I did not experience this. I usually negotiate when I buy the items, I call it haggling. You guys know that word, haggle? H-A-G-G-L-E. Whenever you go shopping on like a street market, you're haggling. I'll, I'll give you $10, no, $15, no, $8, no. So that's haggling, you just go back and forth. Uh, and then last, when I have to confirm from my manager, uh, when I have to get a confirmation from my manager or permission. And that's our corrections for today.